like straight. Maybe the point of all of this is so that the universe can experience itself from as many different perspectives as possible. Maybe we wake up one day and realize, wow, my perspective is so unique that I have to share this with others. That's what draws us to being teachers and parents and mentors. It's why we outwardly express ourselves in art and music. Perhaps this desire to express ourselves outwardly is so that we attract other people around us and we can share our experience collectively, learn from others, and overall have a better one. With the ultimate goal being passing this knowledge and experience of witnessing the universe for what it is on to future generations. I think that some people are called to experience the world in different ways. Some people it's climbing, mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding, sailing, and for me, it's flying. From when I was very young, something inherent in me wanted to fly. Jeffrey Ronald Chorba had the same calling. It seems as if he was chosen to experience the world from above like a bird, just as I had been. He was the one who taught me how to fly and gave me the gift of flight when I was only 16. But he died tragically in a paramotoring related accident on May 13th, 2022. I've struggled to find closure with this loss because the thing that brought us together in the first place, the thing that brought us both so much joy and love for life was the same thing that took him out of this world. I'll spare you the he was -es. He was a fantastic man. But instead, six months later, I've had time to process this loss a little bit more fully, and I'd like to share some lessons I've learned. Number one, Jeff Chorba had possibly more of an impact on my adult life than any other person. He taught me how to fly out of the generosity of his heart, and in doing that, shaped everything that happens in my life today. I wouldn't have moved out west or lived in Florida for two years or known nearly any of the people I'd know and call friends today. Number two, everything in life is temporary. These experiences, these people around us, the places we're at, it's all going to change. This year, after losing Jeff, I went to Burning Man for the first time, and one thing that really stuck with me was the temple and its burn. Each year, they built an incredibly intricate, beautifully constructed temple of no religious affiliation in the Black Rock Desert. It's open to all, and many people choose to leave a memorial or an item from a loved one that has passed on inside of this temple. And on the last day of Burning Man, they burn the entire thing to the ground. The temple burn is a stark contrast from the loud music and lights. 70,000 people stand in a circle, silent, witnessing a fiery reminder that everything in life is temporary. I think that I didn't fully accept that he was gone until I stood around and watched this beautiful thing collapse with thousands of other people feeling the same emotions. It was beautiful while it was here, and now it's gone, and there's nothing we can do to bring it back besides remember the good times we had. To bring all of this full circle, the biggest lesson I've learned is that maybe Jeff fulfilled his purpose here. Maybe once you do that, the rest of this is, well, it's just a bonus track. Jeff found his preferred way of witnessing the universe through aviation, and by outwardly expressing that, surrounded himself with people that he came to consider family. He then went on to assist myself and a few other individuals directly in becoming pilots and experiencing the world in the same way that he had. He passed that on to future generations and impacted all of our lives for the greater. I feel as though the few of us that came to fully realize our destiny of flying through the actions of Jeff understand that a part of him gets to live on through us and through our actions. We feel a desire to outwardly express how incredible flying is and to make a difference on other people's lives. So we dress up as Santa Claus and fly a sleigh around town. We become teachers, we share videos online. We do our best to be an example and an ambassador of the sport of powered paragliding. We've all learned to take everything no a little bit less like. seriously because you never know what day is going to be your last. So thank you, Jeff. Thank you for being the spark that has created this 
such wonderful life that I'm so privileged to live and for being that spark to others as well. Without your influence, 2022 may not have been the most incredible year of my life so far. So here are a few of my favorite moments from this year. Thanks to Jeffrey Ronald Chorba. Rest in peace, my good friend. Everything as it begins eventually comes to an end. The adventures we share, the people we share them with. Sometimes we may feel lost, searching for something. But if we look to the horizon, sometimes a faint light appears and we set sail to the very corners of the earth.